So I picked up the Micro Corsair today. It's raining out, so I won't get to use it. Uh, here it is out of the box. I'm using a cell phone to film this, so my apologies. You can see the little servos there and such. Seems like a nice plane. Uh, I can use my DX6i on it. I had an extra 300, but it, you know, had a receiver glitch and just went straight into the ground and broke. So right now, this is my only other uh, aileron plane, or four-channel plane, I should say. My other one's the Super Cub. So this is what's going to keep me busy for a while. Came with a charger. Uh, as you can see, the battery's charging there. Park Zone charger. 150 milliamp uh, battery. I picked up another one as well today. I'm going to plug it in with my DX6i once things get going. But, anyways, that's uh, my unpacking of that. Comes with a decal sheet if anyone's interested. So you can customize it, I guess, so they're all a little different. Zoom in on the decal sheet there. Yep. Anyway, other than that, it looks pretty nice. The propeller looks interesting. The fake uh, cylinders in there. Landing gear apparently just pops right off. So that should be easy to do. You know, for belly landings in the grass, because this won't take off and land in the field that I go to for sure. Because I do actually go out to field. Uh, steerable. Apparently it's a... I don't know if it's a steerable tail wheel. I was told it was, but... I guess when I plug it in, I'll find out if that moves. It looks like it goes all the way through, so it should be. It should go with that rod, but like I said, clear canopy too is what I liked. I was kind of having trouble deciding between this one or the Polecat, and I just figured there's no point in having two two planes like the same because the extra looked too close to the Polecat for me, and I already got the full-size extra, so new fuselage coming in for it, of course, because of that crash. Uh, so that's basically what you have there.